we caught Eclipse Genesis G5 in our spider web. Welcome to the spider web. For this video, eh, I'll be unboxing Eclipse Genesis G5. I finally get this Beyblade after so long. If you're wondering where I found it, I found it at Target. Go check Target out. I'm in the US or United States. Um, for those in Canada, I heard there's no Targets around there. So just look at Toys R Us. Yeah, those are your best options. Sometimes they show up in Walmart, but most of the time it's, I'm pretty sure it's Toys R Us and Target. All right, this is just great. All right, it's a Hypersphere release that I gotta say. Box art, fantastic. Just look at that. Um, I, I, man, I'm so glad we get this Eclipse. I heard it's very strong, so I'm gonna uh, let's go ahead and look at the back. Uh, okay, so it's, of course it's a right spin combination. It says it's a stamina type, but let me tell you this: it's mislabeled. It's actually a defense type. You see, in the anime, Gwen himself had said that, "Oh, Genesis is a, is a defense type," but for some reason, every Genesis they had. So has a release, they labeled it as a stamina type, which is incorrect. It is a defense type. Alright. So of course it's been to the right. The chip looks nice. Eclipse layer base is a defense layer base, not stamina. Come on, Hasbro fix. Um actually they, they shouldn't have to worry about it, really. Um this looks nice. I really love that. It's gonna have really good shape. D78 or the swipe disc, and then TH27, which is a new driver called Friction Hypersphere. So Friction was originally from Phoenix. So it's nice to see that they put it on Genesis. Let's go ahead and open this thing. Alright, we're gonna go over this bay part by part. First up we have the Genesis G5 Gamma chip and it looks mighty fine. It looks so good. Alright, yeah, I really like this. I know they have these little holes here that kinda looks weird, but overall it looks very good. The slopes I've heard are fantastic. There's the QR code, decided to show it early. I'm very hyped. <laughs> yeah, it's just a fantastic bay. Um Okay, that's pretty much all I have to say about it. This has good slopes, like really good slopes, and I'll demonstrate later. Next up, we have the Eclipse Layer Base. Now, here's what people were upset about, which I find really stupid. Um, listen, they were complaining about, oh, you can't take the armor off, so now we can't put it on Prime Apocalypse and whatnot. Well, geniuses, to all the people who were whining about that, just take the Apocalypse chip and slide it in here. How, like, it's so simple to get around that issue, yet people acted like Hasbro bombed that completely. It's just dumb. <laughs> and you know, I think it's better that it's lodged in like this, so now the armor won't just randomly fly off mid-battle and expose the Genesis, whatever. Yeah, this is a lot more viable than Royal. Like the Royal Air Base, nah, -uh, just no. It really needs the armor. You really need the armor. I'm actually gonna compare it to. Yeah, the armor really, really helps. More contact points, a lot more protection. It's just so much better. I can't believe people whine about this. It just doesn't make any sense. Next up, we have the swipe disc. Swipe is kind of eh. Now, if you don't know what's up with swipe, swipe was basically. Um, okay, so the hybrid driver right here. Um, or hybrid hypersphere. It, it doesn't have metal attached to it. Instead, they made the metal separate and then boom, you get swipe. Yeah, say what you want about it. I don't think it's that much of a big deal. But yeah, swipe is okay. Of course, on a hypersphere driver, it's really good because it's meant to be. I mean, for the most part. Yeah, I think it's a, it's a pretty decent disc on a hypersphere driver. Yeah, it's just decent, really. Finally, we have Friction Hypersphere. And I actually have a version of Friction Slingshock just to show. Look, look at the shape. It's pretty much almost the same. I mean, when it comes to like the very tip, except of course, it's, 
the hyper screwdriver is a lot bigger. It's like twice the size. Or maybe triple, I don't know. That's more realistically twice. But yeah, it looks very nice. Get out of here. I heard this is a pretty good driver. It seems like it's gonna be a pretty good defense driver. This is awesome. It's awesome. That symbol there looks cool. Yeah, this looks pretty good. All right, I'm gonna put, put Genesis all together and, huh. Interesting, the slopes don't feel extremely tight. They feel okay, but what if I put the hybrid driver on it? Okay, there we go. The slopes feel better, the slopes feel better. I think the Eclipse Genesis slopes are good. It's just that the spring and this friction driver is like, eh. Or this particular mode, I mold. I heard some people got really OP molds. So I won't be surprised, but yeah. The, the Eclipse Lair Bay should be very good, very good. I'm pretty sure this is a solid release. It looks great, I'll just say that. It looks fantastic. Right, I got the scale. Go ahead and weigh this. Chip is 3.43 grams. And I might as well compare it to the other Genesis chip, why not? 3.34 grams. Huh, would you look at that? Wait, wait, wait a minute, 3.34. Ah, oh, it's like the, they just swap the numbers around. That's that's funny. It's funny. All right, clips, ten point eighty eight grams. Royal, yeah, this has, the clips is better better into well, it's just heavier really. Seven point ninety five grams. Well, actually, I have to take that back. It is it's heavier and it's better. But it's not be have, it's not better because it's heavier. It's better because it just has a way better shape altogether. Seven point twenty eight. Well, for the layer anyway. Let's do it. Same, 14.31 grams, there we go. Swipe, 18.86 grams, yeah. Not really the heaviest. Uh, friction hyperspray, 8.82 grams. All right, let's put, uh, excuse me, Eclipse Genesis all together. 41.98 grams, all right then. All right, that is nice. I really do recommend putting a, f well, you really don't have to, it depends on what comedy you're making. All right, uh, no need you right now. Let's move on to the test battles. All right, test launch in the Infinity Brink Bay Stadium. I think y'all see what I did there. You're throwing that right. Wow, looks great when it spins. Yeah, I put it in the Infinity Brink Stadium because Genesis is considered to be an Infinity Bay. So, there we go. It's a nice little reference. I'm gonna do three battles in here, then swap to Vertical drop. All right, you know what? Let's put it up against Prime Apocalypse right off the bat. Anime matchup, really. Do two on that. Rip. Rip. Easy. Easy. One hit destroyed Prime Apocalypse. And when I mean destroy, I mean it bounced everywhere. It was toast. That is what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about, Abba. You picked on one of the weakest days. All right, let's put up against a really strong one. Let's put up against Zone Luanor. Three, two, one, that. Right. See how you handle left thing. Oh my gosh! It destroyed Zone. Burst. Easy. That was so easy. Oh my gosh! All right, no more attack types. We gotta put in something else. Let's put in Dust Battle Pitch. Let's put in Dust. Oh my gosh. Oh my. This bay is good. 3, 2, 1, right. Right. If it can be zone, it's good. But you look at that. Clean Dust. You know what? We gotta do another bay in here. I know I said th just three bays in here, but honestly, I wanna see another one. I wanna see another one. Oh, you know what? We have to see Matster. Devilos in here. We got to see Master Devilos take this guy on. If Master loses, that's huge. That is huge. Each one that. Right. Right. Oh wow! Look at Master jump. Wow! Master's getting those hits. <laughs> and the first. The burst, it bursted everyone. It, it, everyone it went up against, it bursted and the slopes didn't move after all those hard hits. Oh my gosh. What kind of bay is this? 
stamina type? I don't think so. Alright. Well, I would say one more, but we gotta move on. We gotta move on to the next video. Three, two, two, one, left. Test launch. I used the blue launch, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. Alright. Genesis flows smoothly in this video. Move on. You got to see how it does against Rock Dragon. Rock Dragon is solid. Can Eclipse defeat Rock Dragon? Ooh, big hits. The power of Genesis. Eclipse Genesis. And... Yeah, actually you lost the rock. To survive finish. Oh, uh, the slopes didn't move. Oh, it moved the slopes on rock? That's huge, because Rock Dragon has really good slopes. 3, 2, 1, left. Gotta do another one. Gotta do another one. Come on. Beat it! Come on, beat rock! Okay, that time it won. There we go. So far, I am very impressed with Eclipse. Alright, let's put up against Galaxy Zutron because we know Galaxy Zutron is very good. Forget the infinite lock. Forget the infinite lock. Genesis doesn't need it. It seriously doesn't need it. It's destroying everyone. Oh my gosh. Very impressed. Ooh, I'm gonna give that one to um, Zutron by a little bit. The boy is Eclipse doing very well. Okay, let's do one more round against Zutron. Oh, that didn't feel good. That didn't feel good at all. You see, I have to redo launches when stuff like that happens. And we're watching Zutron first. It has, it's the real stamina type. Wow, okay. Come on, make some contact. Eclipse. Use Eclipse Whip. Okay, um, big hits, and the fact that it destroyed Master and all those other bays, gosh. Alright, so it lost the Zutron, okay, okay, we get it. See, defense type, not stamina, defense. Alright, we're gonna do one more battle, and that is between, you gotta do it, Infernal Salamander. We gotta do it, Infernal Salamander is top tier. We do one that. Right. Right. Whoa, big hits! Come on, Genesis! Yes! Use Eclipse Pulse! Defend your position! Oh no, Salamander broke through! And it took that victory! Alright, alright, alright! One more chance, see to that. What? Actual one more chance, see to that. Right. Whoa! Nice hit! Eclipse Whip! Come on, get that burst! Destroy Inferno! I mean, don't literally destroy it, but defeat it! I need a burst! Something! Ah! Okay, it got close, but... Well, it's close to being able to survive and finish, at least. Hmm! Alrighty! That was fun! Spider Stats! Looks amazing. The Genesis looks amazing. Performs amazing. Oh, the driver's already <laughs> has some great parts. I like it. I'm actually gonna give it a 9.5 out of 10. It's just solid. Oh, it's so solid. Only reason why I'm not giving it a perfect 10 is because Swipe isn't really the heaviest of this. I think it needs a bit more weight behind it in order to be able to pack a real good punch, but. Other than that, this is extremely good. It's a, almost close. It's so close to a 10, actually. It's so close to a 10. But it's very good. It's a very good hybrid for me. All right. Let me know your thoughts in the comments about Eclipse Genesis. If I see any negativity about Genesis, though, I'm, I'm going to freak out. All right. Thank you all for watching. Keep blading. Corin. Can you believe it? We you barely been released and you're already being called trash. I don't think so.